Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Sayyid Usama Aziz welcome to another video in today's video i wanted to discuss about this face mask that i have 3d printed first of all i wanted to make a few comments about this surgical face mask that we are using previously uh, this is great i have been using it all the time and it is a lifesaver so this video is not to discourage the use of this face mask there are just a few improvements that can be made in order to have a better face mask which seals well to your face so that is why i have 3d printed this and there are few other advantages of this face mask as well which we will discuss in this video so let's get started first thing that i wanted to talk about these surgical masks is that it sits loosely on our face there are some gaps around uh, our face from where the virus can enter and even if we press and form it according to our according to the shape of our face it still gets loose in no time this is where this mask becomes really handy as you can see that the dimensions of it are such that it sits to our face very perfectly and i will show you how so if i put this mask on my face you can see that uh, it covers around the nose and cheeks and even at the bottom so this mask sits very well on my face okay so the second most important thing that we need to talk about is the comfortability this mask has to be comfortable when we wear it because uh, we have to wear it sometimes for a longer period of time for a couple of hours and as i have discussed in my previous video uh, where i compared the normal plastic used in 3d printing that is pla with the tpu which is flexible filament uh, that pla is hard it is brittle and because of this when we wear it and when the mask is uh, uh, has to sit tightly on our face the problem is that it can cause irritation on our skin for this purpose i tried to do an experiment to mix these two filaments where half of the mask is 3d printed with the normal pla and the upper portion of this mask which has to come in contact with our face i have 3d printed it with flexible filament you can also see why this thing is important because here i can bend these upper parts or edges of this face mask but i cannot do the same at the bottom area and which is basically not needed as well combining these two plastics was not an easy task uh, because these two filaments have different requirements in slicer software so i had to do some experiments therefore i designed and 3d printed this test ring with half pla and half flexible filament i had to do a lot of experiments to find out the exact settings with which these two can be merged together and finally i managed to do that now coming to a very interesting part 3d printing face mask is not an easy as just downloading a file and 3d printing it there is more to it Uh, what i noticed during my research is that there are some very small holes uh, that can be found on the surface of a 3d printed part and while in normal cases when we 3d print our parts for experimental purposes it doesn't matter but when we are making a face mask that is going to protect us from a 0.2.3 micron virus size then they these holes and these gaps become really really important and in order to solve this issue we need to do some post processing so in order to close the small holes or gaps on the outer surface of this 3d printed face mask we need to apply this sealer but before we apply that sealer what we need to do is we need to perform sanding using water this is important the sandpaper that i am using is of number p180c and it is a relatively smaller number so first we will perform the sanding so that the surface gets smooth enough to apply the sealer 
Then we will let it dry out and then do the sanding again without water. So let's do it. Once the sealer has been dried out, the next step is to do the sanding again, but this time we are using sandpaper of higher number. This is P320C. And then the final step is to apply this spray over this mask to give it a fine look and add an additional protective layer on the outer surface. So the spray paint layer has been successfully deposited on the outer surface of this 3D printed face mask. Now it is ready to install the filter medium. I have separately 3D printed a front cover which is used to install the filter medium on this mask. Now talking about the filters, they are directly related to the breathability. It really depends on the nature or type of the filter that you use. And this is the beauty of this face mask that it allows us the freedom to choose and install the filters of our own choice. In fact, we can double or triple fold the filter paper to increase the filtration efficiency. But of course, then breathability will be affected. But obviously, finding the right balance between filtration efficiency and breathability should be the way to go forward. Okay guys, so this mask is now ready to use. We have discussed all the things from comfortability to proper seal and covering the holes on the outer surface. But one very important thing is the proper sanitization. Because this mask is for everyday use, we need to sanitize it after every use. And there are two methods for that. First one is to submerge this mask in a 70% isopropyl alcohol solution for one minute or 6% hypochlorite bleach for 10 minutes. One comment that I want to make here is that I am not an expert on sanitization. So you better research on your own end and find different ways how to sanitize the face mask. Just my humble advice is that make sure that you follow the guidelines issued by World Health Organization. So that's it. That's the end of the video from my side. Uh, I hope you like the content. Make sure you like the video as well. Press that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications as well.